Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next in a series of 1, 2, or 03 Vintage Cube drafts that will be performing this, this go-around. Today we have a stipulation from Prim Primaris Powerhouse. We are doing the uh, can only attack with lands stipulation, <clears throat> which means we don't have to win through attacking with lands, but if we want to attack with something, it can only be lands. This isn't a stipulation where we have to take all the, man the creature lands and try to attack with only those. This is a situation where we draft a deck that uh, circumvents attacking, basically. Thank you. This must be a VOD. It is. It is a VOD. Thank you guys so much for, for hanging out. I'll see you guys next time. I appreciate the support. Is either Time Spiral or High Tide? Are we just like, are we just like taking, are we just storming? Do we storm? Is that like a cop-out? Because like, really you have to figure out a strategy that doesn't care about, uh, about attacking, right? Like that's your goal. You can't attack. <coughs> so I think it's either this or Coalition Relic. I think it's this. I do like a Cryptic Command. I like a Nickel Bolus too. Like, it's so funny because, like, attacking based, you don't do anything, but your ultimate is attacking based. You attack. You attack. I mean, Nickel Bolus is fine. Like, we can take Vendillion Click and just, like, not attack with it. But I think Inquisition is probably better for taking time spot. I'm feeding chips and salsa. Now I'm eating a bowl of cereal that is half Cocoa Pebbles, half Frosted Flakes. Oh, God. Mike V, dude. <laughs> Oh, man. I love Cryptic Command, Katums, McMatums. I'll take a Cryptic Command. Um. Oh, God. Empty the Warrens is an awkward storm card when we can't attack. How do we win through a, a blue-red deck, a blue-white deck, without attacking? I don't think we can, right? <clears throat> Not being able to attack is really hard. Your only option is really storm, to be honest with you. I guess it's just Jace Bellerin here. I mean, based on our previous picks, it feels like a Jace Bellerin. Five mana Teferi. Oh, God. Blow my brains out. Yeah, but Ultimate Walker doesn't win by itself. Like, it's just... Neither does Ultimate Teferi, to be fair. Like, the opponent can still just not concede, and you just still can't win. <clears throat> Oh, I guess you could burn them out. Yeah, but I don't know if there's enough burn in the cube. I like a Blood Crypt if we're storming, which I think we're probably on the track to storm here. I like Vampiric Tutor as well. I'm going to take the Blood Crypt. Like, Warren Power Stones, I guess... What if we took, like, what if we found, like, Walking Ballista? I think if we're storming, I think the Blood Crypt is actually more important. Shut up and take my money. You know the step I want. <laughs> Ch Chad, are we talking about are we talking about Ashiok? No, Shieldred. We're talking about Shieldred, aren't we? Oh my god. Why did I say I said Ashiok, but I meant Shieldred? <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Chandra. As if we're picking anything out of this pack, miscalculation also pretty good. We also took a blood crypt, so maybe we're just like Grixis deal you damage. Yogmoth's bargain is pretty decent. I mean, we're not going to take either of these for obvious reasons. Chad, what do you want specifically? You want to reanimate? What do you want to do here? <clears throat> I think we take bargain here. Reanimate forever and always. Oh, Mana Flare. All right. All right, we're doing it. Time Spiral in a Mana Flare seems fantastic. All right, now we're storming, guys. Incinerate. Oh, here's a shoulder right here. We'll save you for later, pretty lady. Incinerate was good with Thousand Year Storm. I really don't like Wish Call Talisman, but I guess it's it is a it's a tutor for like one. Sure. You know what? I'll give it a go. Look, here's a lava claw reaches. Nickel Bolas. Firebolt's actually fine for <clears throat> increasing storm count. And I think it's way more likely that we play a Firebolt than we play a, the other dude. God, empty the Warrens. <laughs> so ridiculous, dude. Oh, man. Inferno Titans is better. At least Inferno Titan deals three, right? <clears throat> Oh, 
God, I love Young Peasy, but it's like, well, you ain't going to be attacking with these creatures. Whatever. We'll take it in case we got a block. It can keep us alive. Tangle wire. <coughs> we found out. I like a go for the throat. Oh, Gonti? For sure. This this stipulation feels really difficult, Primaris Powerhouse. Oh, but a Mox Ruby makes it all worth it. Nothing super stormy in this pack. Ideally, the Thought Seize comes back, but we're definitely taking Mark Mox Rubles. Ugin is a pretty decent win con. It's true, <clears throat> but it's not it's not a it's not a Mox Ruby. That's for sure. Thank you. One star peeps. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> Simic Signet, you're interesting. You're literally the only interesting card here. Oh my god, Splinter Twin would be great, but we can't we can't attack. What if we get Splinter Twin into C Rex Arc and we just put it on there and then they concede before we attack? But also ponder. Shrine of Burning Rage is also not bad. So a couple options here. Ponder if we just want the safe pick. Splinter to win if we want the cute the cute pick. And Shrine if we want like just another win condition. Oh yeah, if they concede before we attack, that's totally... I don't think the Ponder though. It's just very, very good. <clears throat> Scalding Tarn. Ooh. God, Scalding Tarn over Mystic Confluence. Also, Seething Song. I think it's actually Seething Song. God, Scalding Tarn so good, though. Wait, why does it say no stip? Did I not enter a... Com Did I not... Yeah, I think we have to take Seething Song. If we're trying to storm... Oh, Steam Vents. Nice. All right. That's good. That's good. Chain Lightning. Also, Dig Through Time. <coughs> I think it's Chain Lightning, actually. Did the Stip Command work? Why does it keep doing that? What the fuck? <laughs> this is all very weird. Command has been updated. All right, let's see. I mean, terminates. I think terminate. We have. Where would have go for the throat? I'm gonna take chain lightning. I like chain lightning because it's nice to be like, hey, uh, shoot you for one, up my storm count. Although, of course, we do need a storm card to actually. Dude, what if we don't even get a storm card? <laughs> what if we don't get like tendrils or? Oh god, it's gonna be so rough, dude. Oh, banefire. All right, well that's a win con. Also, explosion expansion is a win con, but I don't know if we're gonna have the mana for that. Whereas banefire is just an uncounterable, beautiful thing. A lightning bolt. <clears throat> Hazard can discard to do damage. That's true. Lion's Eye Diamond, but we don't have Yogmoth's Will yet, so I don't think I think it's just lightning bolt here. <clears throat> and we're also kind of burning them. Oh, Thoughtseize came back. All right. Sure. Maybe the Scalding Tarn will come back too, huh? Shrine came back. Interesting. Grixis burn, my dudes. <clears throat> uh, I'll take Bone Shredder, I guess. Yeah, 
You know what? Mishra's factory can get in there, but I doubt we're going to be getting in there with a Mishra's factory. No, oh, Terminate came back. Also, Siege Gang Commander. With Empty the Warrens. Oh, we didn't take the Empty. <coughs> Dick Pound is the hero we need? What does that even mean? What are you saying right now? Eh, Hazard. All right, sure. Oh, wow. That's actually decent. Huh, that's funny. <laughs> His name is Dick Pound. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's amazing. Well, this is sad. This is a sad little pack here. Chalice is like poop. Yeah, I'm looking at Mystical Tutor here. Guys, that Scalding Tarn did not come back. That's kind of messed up. We do not have a Storm Wincon yet. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's Mystical Tutor. <clears throat> because it gets all our things that we might want to get. Ooh, there's the Yawgmoth's Will. Also an Izzet Signet, which I like a lot. Are we a Will deck yet? Also, I bet Lotus Bloom comes back. I feel like we just want the colors from Signet more than we want the Yawgmoth's Will, to be honest. I mean, if we Mana Flare... Okay, we have six mana. We go Mana Flare, Time Spiral, untap the six, get 12 mana... <coughs> I mean, how are we Bane firing? The the high tide didn't come back in pack one. This can also actually just... We can just shoot them for a bunch. I'm going to think the Yawgmoth's well. I think the upside is way, way higher. Rakdos' is return. How many burn spells do we play in this deck? Hellrider and Phantasmal Image aren't great here. Shriek Maw, meh. Gush is probably decent. Yeah, I'm real I'm real upset about this Shinobi not being able to need a lot of burn, yeah. Well I like Gush. Returning two lands is meh. I'm going to take Gush because playing it from the graveyard is actually pretty strong. Koligon's Command. Past in Flames we don't actually need because we have Yawgmoth's Will now. I like Koligon's Command. I also like Boros Signet. I have no idea. This deck is... This deck is going to be fun at the very least. We're going to be doing some nonsense. We have one creature in our deck right now and it's Gaunti. Yeah, I'll take Koligon's Command. Ancestral Vision is great. Koth would be sweet, actually, if we were a little more red-based. Because <clears throat> we can attack with lands. That's funny. I think it's still Ancestral here, but... I mean, I don't think we're, we're terrible on win cons right now, to be quite honest. I think we're grindy, but I don't think we're that in that bad of shape. Koth could also wheel, it's very likely. We're definitely taking Ancestral here. Uh, Duretti, you are not a win con. P and Karen Alar, you're not really a win con either, unfortunately. This pack's kind of poop. I actually don't know if I hate Dark Confidant here. Bob will also just kill us. Oh, Burst Lightning. Oh, Memory Jar, though. 
I mean, we don't actually have too many high costs in this deck. We have two six drops. And this this is also, I guess, three six drops. If we play that. It's either Memory Jar or Burst Lightning. I think Memory Jar is definitely more unique. Ooh, Creeping Tar Pit seems like... That's great. Wow, that's a win con if I ever saw one. Airflowing Chalice. <coughs> Muta Vault. <laughs> I guess we'll take Chalice. Um, Lotus Bloom came back. All right. Rakdos's return. Uh, Avalanche Rider. Probably Damnation for the sideboard. I don't mind that. Oh, I was actually hoping this Murderous Rider would come back. Uh, I don't think we're playing Jace. I also don't think we're playing Cryptic Command. I think they're just going to be way too hard on the mana. So those are easy cuts. Definitely cutting one of these. If not, Expector, you snuck in there, you old sneaky biscuit. Guys, this is the worst storm deck I've ever had. Yes, 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 yes. Definitely cutting one of these. Banefire can definitely stay. Rakdos' return is probably better than Expansion Explosion. <coughs> I mean, copying Seething Song is great, but otherwise it's not that great. I mean, I guess we can cut Rakdos' to return. I'm okay with that. But, I, yeah, I agree with you. It's like just Banefire. With, like, <clears throat> they all have their perks. Like, this being uncounterable and also the cheapest is nice. This being able to make them discard their hand is nice. This being able to draw us cards or copy a Seething Song is nice. Uh, you definitely aren't copying Factor Fiction or Gus. This is cost four. Oh, actually, you can't. not Gush, but Factor Fiction you can. <clears throat> By open the, do you mean empty the Warrens? God, I couldn't even land your joke correctly, you nerd. Okay, so, well, Paramount's Paris, I'm glad you said that, because I don't know if we're going to be winning here, but we're going to be trying. Everflowing Chalice can go. We have 26 cards here. I'm not a huge Wishclaw Talisman fan, I'll be honest. If we had a way to sacrifice this in response to giving it to them, that's one thing, but, like, we don't really have ways to take advantage of it. <clears throat> but, like, even if we go, like, Chain Lightning, Firebolt, Lightning Bolt, Light, Firebolt, Lightning Bolt, and then we go Dogmoth's Will to deal another 8 damage here. Still pretty good. So we have two more cuts. Um, what's our second creature? We have Gonti and what else? Hmm. Darkles make a confidant. Man, this deck is weird, dude. Also, Chandra's ultimate is definitely a win condition.
I do like that we have Damnation and hit Murderous Rider and like terminate it in the board. What are we getting with Mystical Tutor? I don't think this is actually a Mystical Tutor deck, to be honest with you. <clears throat> and I'm probably just gonna play I'm probably just gonna play I'm probably just gonna play 41 here. Cause one of them is a Lotus Bloom too, so. Sort by color. It's a decent mix here. And we're also playing the Rakdos and the Explosion Expansion and the and the Bane Fire. So we're like <coughs> I would have loved a time walk here. That would have been nice. Of any of any form. Four, five, six, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cut down here. Three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six. I want to go more so we can just play one more. Oh god, guys, can you hear that? That's like the heater in the background. It's very, it's very loud. Sometimes it does this weird thing. <laughs> RC race car stream could be sweet. Oh god, this deck, dude. I don't even know what's going on. I'm, I'm just looking at Explosion Expansion as a copy spell. Like, be able to copy Kolagon's command or something. But, we'll see. Either way, Premier's Pair House, really appreciate it, man. Hopefully we'll have a good time, dude. That's all I could ask for. We did lose the die roll. Well, the Dark Confidant. I will keep this hand. We're going to draw a Mox Jet. You guys ready for Mox? Uh, Mox Ruby, rather. No, we didn't. I lied. <clears throat> oh, black mana to Dark Confidant. Here we go. Unseen Spectre, three years, man. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate you. And... Here comes the dying. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. This is how you're going to be? That's cool, man. Was it still two damage? So, one, three. Two. Okay. That's too bad. Yep, that's too bad, too. Oh, next turn we can go Firebolt, Yawgmoss. Nope, that's going to take five mana. Oh, that's a good dude. <clears throat> yep, this is a lot of there's a lot of things that are happening right now. That's too bad. Puppy dog eyes, wow. Wow. Oh, Colagon's command. Huh. They don't have no artifacts? We could firebolt and Colagon's command this guy, which is probably gonna be better in the long term, I'll be honest with you. Is this an artifact creature? No. <laughs> I 
All right. I'm pretty sure we just have to kill this guy, right? Yeah, I guess if we still had Bobat, we'd flip this. It's like, oh, that's cool. All right, so discard two to you. And then firebolt you. Yeah, finish looking at your hand. Get him. <clears throat> I like one power on the board much better than five. Especially if we're trying to win with Yogmoth's bargain. Storm count is at two. It's true. <clears throat> Jukebox, baby, I hear you knocking. You remember this song? I think this is from, what is this, Home Alone? What song is that in? Or what movie is that in? I'm pretty sure it's Home Alone. You can tell because it's a song that I've had in my head since my childhood, and I've never actually heard the song outside of the movie it was in. Oh, wow. All right, we're definitely bringing in Damnation here. I will take two whole damage points. Foreigner sings Jukebox Hero. With stars in his eyes. <clears throat> okay, well. I guess we're just firebolting this guy. And then we take what? Five? So we go to eight? I'm not dead yet. You will be. <coughs> Guys, I've had a real hankering recently to watch the original Star Wars trilogy again. Alright. Vivian Champion on top. Champion of the Wilds. Nice. I think we're dead here, guys. Sometimes I watch them in order. No, I can't. <coughs> and land. Chain lightning. Chain. <laughs> Chain lightning. One, two, three, four, five. We go to... Yeah, I'm going to scoop here. Uh, our deck did not... It did not perform the way we wanted it to there. So what we're going to do... Are you ready? Maybe we're not storming so much as just... Black Grixis controlling them. Let's take out this... God, I really wish we had a Narset for this time spiral. That'd be great, right? We are, we probably are a damnation deck. You probably you probably right. You so smart. See how Yogmoth will bring in <coughs> Bone Shredders ready. Can't attack with it. Don't care. Terminate's nice because it does trigger our shrine. And we can probably cut one of these guys. Let's cut this one. I don't even think I like Gush, to be honest with you. I think I'll just play Murderous Rider instead of the Gush. No more... All right, I like it. Was the stipulation Grixis? No, that would have been much easier. 
I mean, I hate giving this away because it's like, well, now he knows if I have this, I'm not going to attack, you know. But, I mean, I think it's still fine. Like, I'm not going to... I don't think my opponent's, like, gaming me when he, he's, like, you know, psyched to be playing against me or whatever, so... Yeah, maybe we just retool this to be like a Grixis control burn deck afterwards. I think we definitely have the tools. Like, we have a ton of removal. I like that. I don't even know if we... Like, if we do that, we probably don't want Time Spiral. We probably do want Everflowing Chalice to ramp to our burn spells. Oh, this dude's... This little guy's... This little guy's dead. <laughs> so I'm gonna get stormed. Joke's on you, buddy. Joke's on you. Oh, biscuits. Oh, we get just Chandra just kill this guy? That seems great. Oh, I like that. Up and down the boulevards. Alright, so next time we get to play Shrine and keep up Murderous Rider. They're going to draw Stone Forge. Okay, they did. Don't get Batter Skull. I don't like it. Don't do it. Buddy, don't get a pro red sword or a pro black sword either. Okay, that's, I mean, that's a, that's a good sword. That's a good sword, but they don't, it's not as bad. <clears throat> and they didn't have a land. I'm liking it. Second black. Um, let's exile the top. See what we got. Interesting. Hmm. 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 Now I wish I played Shrine first. I mean, I'm probably just gonna kill the one drop because then we can murderous rider the two drop. Done. If they hit a land, they can attack Chandra and kill her. So we're just going to keep up. Oh, we did it with the wrong mana? Oh. Well, you know what? That's still... F I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn to live with it. <coughs> so that was rough. That was, a, that was a rough... Oh, regrowth. Oh. Oh. Oh, now I'm okay with what's happening. Oh, interesting. So one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Play this. Hmm. We go up to eight mana if we do this. If we sh if we if we time spiral here, do we still have mana flare in the deck? Because maybe we just wait until we get the mana flare. Ancestral vision. Oh wow, that's so sad that you like. They don't even give you the chance to cast it. They're like, you can't do that. <clears throat> What's that from? I want to say you're about to be struck by a moving vehicle, but all that came out was, yo, what's that from? That's from something, right? Okay, so. They're going to put the sword into play, which is fine. I think it just depends on what they equip. If they go to equip Stoneforge, I think we're okay with that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it was Dane Cook. Yes, it was Dane Cook. That's funny. Uh, I don't think we time spiral here, guys, right? Like, the problem is we net five cards, they net three cards. I guess they're putting this into play. But I guess if we play Murderous Rider and then land next turn and then time spiral, it's just better, right? Watch them have Batter Skull in hand already. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I don't. Just, I don't. I can't. That's real good. Lyra. <clears throat> he said, when do, when do you think tournaments will be underway again? I'm like, oh, not for months, my dude. Also, I have no idea. Come on, Mana Flare off the top one time. That would be the sickest. We'd have a million bajillion mana. One million bajillion mana. Oh, do, 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 kill the we can kill the Batter Skull and the Stoneforge here. Well, let's play a land. <clears throat> Three, four, five. They have two cards, though. Do we really want a time spiral here? <clears throat> I mean, Lyra's a pretty good draw for them. I don't think we have an answer for it directly. <laughs> so, like, I'm pretty sure we actually just... What if we add to Coligon's command? an artifact. Let's let's try that. Destroy an artifact. Going on, screen destroy an artifact to. <clears throat> All right, and then we can time spiral here. Yep, they're gonna put sort of body and mind on the, into play. They're gonna have one card in hand, but they're drawing a Lyra, which is like kind of good. Yep. And now we kind of have to find an answer to this guy, right? <coughs> so otherwise they equip this, attack us. Untap up to six landoms. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Okay, okay. Yogmoth's bargain here seems interesting. Oh, we also get to see all the cards they drew because they have Corsor of Crufix in play. Oh, that's wild, dude. I don't know when I'll be back again. So they're going to go land, questing beast, equip something. I think that's actually fine. I wish I had more black sources here. <clears throat> um, we have six mana if we play mana flare, but six mana without mana flare as well. So... Um, Good thing we sent QB to HR to be terminate to HR. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. The nice thing is we can terminate something, and then we can also... Uh... Okay, so batter skull on top. I mean, we they said sad, but we let them draw, like, a thousand cards. What was on top of planes? And they played a planes? Okay, so... <laughs> I get that. I just wasn't sure. I just, I don't know. For some reason, it didn't click for me. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> Gonna terminate your friend. Okay, okay. I thought hurricane season was over. And then we can actually shrine this guy too. So we got they got rid of Questing Beast. This is the six cards in their hand because they play planes, but we know they drew a planes too, so. Now I'm tempted to do this. Well, I guess if they go for Shonda, we're gonna kill it with the shrine. Depends oh, they don't have to go for Shonda because that's how Questing Beast works. That card's ridiculous. Alright, well Shrine is gone, but Shonda is just a much better investment here. It always goes for Chandra. That's true. It's true. Okay, so what are we doing this turn? Um, so the thing is, like, their mana sucks. They have nothing to do with their mana. So I'm actually tempted to just mana flare here. What does that give us? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. 11, 12 if we activate Chandra. No, more than that, actually. Yeah, let's Mana Flare. The only thing they can attack us with is Stirring Wildwood. But I guess they can just, like... 1, 2, 3, 4. Activate Stirring Wildwood. 1 left over. 2, 3. To play the Sword of Light and Shadow. A equip both swords. Oh, that's pretty scary, actually. Do we have a way to deal with that? Not really. But I guess we could try to find... I guess we could try to find a go for the Throat, right? Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, mana. I guess we'll just play Yawgmoth's Will here. <coughs> Draw a card. There it is. <laughs> Found it. Alright, so. We're just going to play this guy. No, let's play Black and let's play Murderous Rider here instead. Yeah, that seems good. And then we'll just pass. Oh, Yawgmoth's Bargain is great. Oh yeah, Reaches is lethal with the... Uh, with the Mana Flare, for sure. <clears throat> so I bet they're going to do the thing I said they're going to do. What did they play? They played Planes. Got it. Vivian. Okay. I don't think that's a punt just because I didn't play the correct land. <clears throat> I want you... I think they're going to do it. Light and Shadow is good here because we technically can't block. So. So we know four of the five cards in their hand. You gain Vigilance and Reach. Sure. But there's no guarantee it's lethal. Like this guy has vigilance, they can actually block it if they if they keep mana up for it. Like like there's no guarantee this is lethal next turn. I mean, it's a line that could lead to lethal, but like we have no I wish they didn't have a green up because then they couldn't play their elvish mystic, but <clears throat> yeah, 
Yep, that's fine. Flash him in. Johnny Magic, what's going on? All right, so we're at 16. <clears throat> we have a lot of mana here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. If we just find Banefire here, we just win, right? So if it's in the top 15 cards. Rakdos' return also just wins us the game here, right? Uh, and that. Seething Song. They know what's happening. 12, 15, 16. Just fire them up. <laughs> oh, got them. <clears throat> Bane fire for 20. Well, Rakdos return. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Oh, we just had bait and fire right afterwards. <clears throat> All right, what else are we putting in? Um, Yogmas will. Well, Yogmas bargain actually did some work there, my dudes. And they have to discard twenty cards, which is honestly worse if you think about it. That's true. So the two swords we saw were none of them were pro red. So I'm wondering if like Inferno Titan or Young Pyromancer is actually decent here, just to, as just a dude. <clears throat> Seems fine. Because we have a ton of spells Thank here. You. Professor Double, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Double welcome. Professor Double welcome. Because, <clears throat> like, Young Pyromancer, if we're just able to make a couple guys, like, blocks all of their swords. Their swords are pro green and blue and pro white and black, Thank so... You. Johnny Magic with the sub. Thank you so much, everybody. Really appreciate the resub, my dude. To show me the way. Sometimes I part. Yep, yeah, that should that should be that should be going the other way. Sometimes I part my hair. I'm like, what if they had force of will? Should have waited for Bane Fire. <coughs> Chad, sometimes you don't need lava claw reaches because you could just burn them out for twenty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the hand. This is the hand, my dudes. <whistles> you guys hear that? It sounds atrocious right now. Can you guys hear that? Ah. 
<clears throat> All right. Chain lightning one time. Island, huh? Ooh, I don't want any of these except for this one swamp, but that's not gonna... I'm gonna shuffle these. <sighs> time spiral. Jesus. All right. Well, we might be dead here. Did we lose game one? Yeah, we did. It was terrible. Oh, well. Mike, you can hear it. <laughs> Guys, if you're listening on YouTube, I really apologize. <clears throat> Mike, mention in our house chat that you can hear it. Oh, Time Spiral can untap a swamp. All we have to do is survive until damnation. Okay. If this gets us one step closer to drawing a, a swamp, pff, I'm game. I didn't see what they had on top. Did you guys see what they had on top? I totally missed it. All right, Black Source. Like you did last summer. Oh, it just stopped. This might be a time to have an audio gate. Nice. Solid suggestion. I still have, I have a link up. I have a tab open with an audio gate that I could be using. Watch us draw explosion expansion and take like six. You ready? I'm not gonna block here because I do want the extra card. But if we can hit a black source for this damnation, like... Oh, man. Just one time, Bobby. Bobby, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it to me, Bobby. <clears throat> uh, shrine. Oh, come on. Lava gob. Oh, that's, that's, that's brutal. Oh, God, and we really... Well, I guess we can, we can actually get away with playing the untapped land this turn. Chandra to kill this guy. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> so path on top. I would imagine they just blink this guy and then we're stuck with uh, deal one to Chandra. Yep. Yep. It's all happening, guys. <coughs> On the bright side, they have one card in hand. So if we do hit a black source off of this Ancestral Vision, an untapped black source, because then they, we know they're drawing path. Yep. We do lose our Chandra, unfortunately. We go to three here? It's not the worst. Oh, and we get our confidant back? Oh, that guy's going to kill us. Yep. And we did not hit a black source. <laughs> we had a lightning bolt. And a black source! <clears throat> I was going to attack, but then I remembered we can't attack, so... So they're going to draw a path to exile. Uh, we have to discard. Let's discard Thoughtseize. Wow. Oh, God. What is this? Yikes. Seriously, that's the other card in your hand? <laughs> Come on. Four, four. Five damage. I mean, it's almost like we have to time spiral here. Like, it's pretty awkward, but it's literally what we have to do to try to hit, like, Kolagon's command. So they go from one card. It's so frustrating. 
Oh, I do like Shrine into Bolt into Pop Shrine. That would have actually been... Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Yep, I think that would have actually been decent. But now we gave them a bunch of cards for, for nothing, really. Yeah, it uses all six mana, but... Uh, let's let's do Chain Lightning first. Yeah, that would have been better. You guys are right. I feel bad now. There's a lot going on. And of course we got like one of the few cards we don't want in uh, Yawgmoth's Bargain. So that's that's something right there. I actually feel like if we played that differently, we could have... Oh, God. Yeah, now I feel bad. See, that, that that's a punt. Yeah, Chandra can kill most things, but she can't kill two things. Yep, that's game. Oh, God, all they had was Path, and all we had to do was the stupid... And then we had Factor Fiction in hand, too. Yeah, that, I feel, that was my fault. Let's change our deck, though. We're not the Storm deck that we thought we were. <clears throat> Yawgmoth's Will, bring in Terminate, Murderous Rider, Damnation. feel so stupid like all they had was path in hand so if we could have just dealt with that batter skull we've had at least two turns then we would have been able to like at least factor fiction to try to <clears throat> get our board back or get our you know to just be to just be way ahead time spiral was definitely a trap there unfortunately it's dave it's not really forcing storm when when our stipulation is that we can't attack so I, I'm really reluctant to, to use Wish Claw just to give them a, a free tutor. <clears throat> I think Bob is great. Especially because we have Ancestral, Everflowing Chalice, and Mox to kind of offset. Like, So we have like 20 cards that cost like zero. 17 lands plus ever flowing plus ancestral so 19 <clears throat> I mean that's that's very low and plus we have a very low curve so I actually don't know why you don't like Bob in this deck it's very strange oh my god this is where they're gonna be like why is he attacking <laughs> Plus, Bob also blocks just fine. I think hitting 3 CMC is fine. Like, I don't think it's like... Speak of the devil. Alright, well... Is this where we Chandra, guys? They didn't do anything, so the odds of them having a counter spell is about 1,000% right now. They just have to pick which one they want to use. It's not going to be cryptic, so that's good. Do they remand it? Do they mana leak it? Oh, thirsting. <clears throat> so this is going to resolve is what you're telling me?
They're going to daze us. I found a daze. Ready? Or force a will. I'm waiting to see if their life total goes down or if a land goes back to the hand. <coughs> Spell Pierce seems much rarely played than, than, than Days and Force of Will. Yep, there it is. Cool. Well, you're lucky, buddy. I can't attack you. Why aren't you attacking? I'll never tell. They also have a creeping tar pit. No six drops. Oh yeah, land? Baby. Oh yeah, we're doing it. What are you doing right now? You're gonna Vendillion click me? Oh wow. Oh wow. Good job. Hey, good job. I bet they'll take Rakdos to return. Because then I get to rip most of their hand out, so... They took Rakdos' to turn. How surprising. <clears throat> Do I just attack with this guy now, I wonder? Hmm. Feels like it. What am I getting here? Oh, yeah. Look at all these lands we're hitting, my dudes. Ancestral Revision. Right now. <laughs> I don't get it either, guys. I'm fine with all of these, actually. At least you can always readily prove we're living in the simulation. It's true. Was a Gonti into four lands, guys. Just in case you guys didn't see it. Uh, our record right now with this deck is 0-1. And we're in the second round, game one. So This is also a stipulation draft. <clears throat> Guys, you know we can't cast, and we can't play any lands off of Gonti, right? God, and they take factor fiction, so we like literally get no fucking amazing. It's like, hey, I heard he had card advantage. <laughs> Let me take all of it. All right, cool. Jesus fucking Christ. It's so obnoxious, dude.
So you have Vendillion Click the turn before we Rakdos return you for most of your hand. We hit four lands off of this. We get to predict that we're going to draw Ancestral Vision right after Dark Confidant's trigger. And you have Collective Brutality to make me discard my two forms of card advantage while putting a Gristle Brand into play. I mean, like, I, I don't actually, I can't, like, it gets to a point where, like, you can't keep calculating the number of things that went wrong in a certain situation. That's just kind of comical to me. <clears throat> well, I would have just concede and move on to game two, though. Like, I can still just play out the game. But I can still get upset about the, the, the course of events that led us to this to this situation. <clears throat> it's ironically like if we were able to attack with either Gonti or Dark Confidant. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'd be like, they would have taken at least four from Dark Confidant, maybe six, and two from Gonti right now. So that's eight. So they actually would be at like five right now, and we'd actually just, we'd actually have this game if we were able to attack, which is, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, they'd be at five, right? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's super interesting. <clears throat> and we still have three six eight damage worth of burn so we can put them to five and then this guy's another three i think we actually just want to play this now I mean, the funny thing is our creatures don't really matter. So I'm like, all right, if you want to kill this this Gonti, you're more than welcome to. <clears throat> Putrid Imp. That guy can't even block. Not like it matters, I guess. Oh, Primaris Paros. Nothing, it has nothing to do with the stipulation itself. Like, it's definitely just our opponent's luck, you know? <coughs> I actually appreciate stipulations that, like, challenge you without forcing you to, like... Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep. Cool. Yeah, like, we're just not winning the game with any of these cards that we're drawing. Uh, is there... Any, yeah, see, like, this... Giving giving a deck like this a, a Wishclaw Talisman just seems terrible. I almost like... I almost kind of like Jace Bellerin here. <clears throat> Let's play... I kind of like Cryptic Command, too, but my, our odds of drawing triple blue seems very, very low. Hmm. Again, I could see young Pyromancer coming in. <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we win that game, actually, if we're able to attack. So I don't feel terrible about it, you know what I mean? Like, it's... Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Ponder. Uh, this actually seems just fine. Like, we can play Lava Claw Reaches next turn.
I'm going to cast this because I think they're more likely to make us discard it than... Uh... Uh, the stipulation is we can't attack except for creature lands. <clears throat> so next turn we play Lava Claw and then we play Gonti. And ideally, we don't hit four lands off of it. <laughs> Yeah, that game is definitely a simulation of, like, everything that could go wrong will go wrong, which is kind of awkward. <coughs> I mean, like, they were able to make us discard our Factor Fiction. They got rid of our Bob. They Vendillion clicked our Rakdos return right when we were going to cast it. Like... <coughs> They had Putrid Imp to discard Ulamog, and then they also had the one, like, one of the few instant speed, like, reanimate spells. Right, and the Force of Will on Chandra. Yeah, like, it's definitely, like, let's Vendillion click here. I mean, we can't... The thing is, you don't want Jace to flip, because Jace flipping is not great. Because uh, then they get the Planeswalker. Yeah, at least he resolved this time. Unfortunately, I hate Vendillion Click because like, we can't attack with it, you know? I want our opponents to be like, why aren't you attacking with your creatures, dummy? And I'm going to be like, I don't know how. How much damage is this? Six damage plus at least four right now. This is ten in hand. Uh, okay, they discarded Grisly Bristle. Sure. Yep. They don't know we have Vendillion Click, so we can actually click them. Well, that guy doesn't do anything here. <clears throat> the problem is if we, we, do, we, if we do it at their draw step, if they have it, they can still... If they have the instant speed one, they can still get Gristlebrand back, so we kind of want to just do it now. Living Death, wow. Corpse Dance and two Emrakul, two, two Eldrazi's, huh? Well, see you later, Corpse Dance. Wow. Sweet hand. Hope you win. Not likely, my dude. Not likely. Oh, biscuits. I can't attack with any of these creatures. Oh, I feel like we win these games handily if we're attacking with creatures. One, two, three, four. So your hand is literally these four cards and they're actually not great. Oh my God. 
God, just not being able to attack is so funny to me. Our opponent's like, we have what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight damage on board. No, seven damage on board. This is so funny. Please attack. No way, man. We got, we got, we got, a, <laughs> we got the standards, my dude. Oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it is a moral victory. Like, we would have definitely won this match. Because we would have won last game for sure. We just burned them out. Chad, by Frontier, do you mean Pioneer? One, two, three. This is five, six, seven, eight. So this is seven mana. Um, Seven damage, right? Five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This is 16 damage right here. Oh, it's so close. You're gonna watch me pull these guys back, my dude. Um, was it six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. I'm not doing it. What if, like, the stipulation was you can attack once per per match or per game? <clears throat> I think that would be much uh more reasonable. Unfortunately, Mana Flare is a terrible... <laughs> ...is a terrible draw when they have two Eldrazi in their hand, is what I was going to say. Oh, I'm going to pay black here, huh? Really? You got something here? You got something now? Here comes Murderous Rider. What is this? Makeshift Mannequin? Plus one extra mana? Is it Mystic Confluence? Bounce my guy, draw two? That's what I'm leaning towards right now. They're picking modes. <coughs> What? They bounced their own Vendillion click. Interesting.
All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. If we hit a land, we actually win with with Mana Flare. Because we can go one, two, three, one, two, three for Mana Flare, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. With yeah, we'll have eight with the land. I mean, they have Vendillion Click though, so they're just gonna take our Bane Fire. Never mind. Yep, that's rough. Is it hurting you to have to swing with only one? Yeah, actually having to pull these dudes back. Like, we just won one last game, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven. That's lethal, man. That's lethal. But. <coughs> that's a stipulation, man. We would, we would be 1-1 one, one right now. Well, they just threw three, so maybe they get a corpse dance or a shallow grave. Shallow grave really, uh, it, it really messed us up a lot. Okay. Well, they're just going to discard Emrakul and play shallow grave now. <laughs> so they did not. <clears throat> oh, creeping tar pit. Fascinating. Well, we do get to draw something else. Maybe it's a Rakdos' return. Well, that seems good. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> we can firebolt this guy. I think we definitely want creeping tarpon online. Thank you. I'm going to kill the Putrid Imp because it's a discard outlet and they might need discard outlets for these guys. Like if they just don't have a consistent discard outlet, unless you know, are sure. Now you're just going to hold these two in hand? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Our opponent's like, why the fuck isn't he attacking? Monkey Nub Fight, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. <coughs> All right, Primaris Paras says, next match, try one attack phase per game. I like it. I like it. They didn't attack either. That's hilarious. Oh. Oh, that's intriguing. Can we do it, guys? <sighs> no. He already told me no after I released him from his bonds. Oh, they're bouncing our Gonti. I guess it is a non-land permanent, sure. Oh, wow. Is this it? Are we going to do it? Try to make you understand. Never going to give you up. <clears throat> no, we're good. Four, five, six, eight, nine. So even if they hit a land, they only have ten. Ulamog is eleven. They're going to play Brazen Borrower. That's fine. So now we have both Creeping Tarpet and we can probably just... Oh, what happened to our Firebolt? Oh, did we use it on the other guy? It's unfortunate. I guess we have only Creeping Tarpet to get us through the night. We can also draw Lightning Bolt, Rakdos to return. 
explosion expansion. <clears throat> Four, eight, nine, ten. One mana away from Ulamog to destroy our creeping tar pit. Pony, you're on borrowed time, my dude. What is happening right now? What is this you're doing? Ten mana anyway. Kozilek. That doesn't do it. <clears throat> you dead to this guy. What? This deck is wild. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Oh, man. <laughs> they conceded. We couldn't even attack and they conceded. You suck. Got him. Oh, we got him, boys. Cryptic Command's looking better and better, my dudes. No, they don't suck. I was just kidding. That was mean. Oh, man, dude. Now we're gonna run around or attack you. Never gonna give, never gonna give. <coughs> oh, man. That's wild, dude. God, Cryptic Command. I'm so tempted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So many pips, dude. So many pips. <sighs> I like this Jace, though. I can't crypt. We can't crypt. Cryptic Command's so good, though. It's so good. I'm going to take Bargain out. I'm going to put Cryptic Command in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like seven, seven, seven. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, God, it's Cryptic Command. It's so good. Like, the thing is, like, if they if they go to, like, Gristlebrandus or something, like, having a Cryptic Command is just so strong. Like, we don't need it on turn four, but... It's rough. This is really bad. I mean, we're not going to go to five here, but... Keep. Um, Gonti seems real good against them. I think we can get rid of Chain Lightning here. <clears throat> they went to 6-2, so that's good. Wow. Alright, well, hopefully we draw Black Black. Come on, Dark Confidant. Any other guys? I just want to cast a Dark Confidant. But I don't have any black mana. Never gonna cast black cards. Never gonna play my swamps. Never gonna play the spells in my hand, yeah. <coughs> Swamp. Black card. Well, this is how game three has to go, I guess. We kick and we claw and 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 scratch our way to a victory, and then we can't cast our spells. Ah. <sighs> They chose not to shuffle. Swamp. Well, we have cryptic command mana, guys. <coughs> A typical Frank Lepore game three. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. That's correct. Cool. Good for you.
Cryptic Command? Black card. All right. All right. Board's in a triple blue card. Gets triple blue. Can't cast any of his black spells. <clears throat> it's really... It's really something, guys. Thank you! Moon Time Dollar. Thank you so much for the, re for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Well, now we got a creepy tar pit, guys, so... I don't know what they're waiting for. One, four, five, six. They have eight mana. Nine mana. Another black would be great here. So they can play two things, but nope. Don't like that. I guess we're just going to thought seize because that seems the most important. Just got prime and had to give it. Really appreciate it, Moon Time Dwell. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> here comes the mystic confluence oh we are going to expansion explosion this my dudes never gonna run around my B. oh we can't we can't copy that that's sad what was I thinking what was I? What was I? What was old Frankie boy thinking? Really? Okay. Copy it. Same targets. Resolve that, dude. Alesh Norn and Daze. These are both terrible. No. <clears throat> oh they didn't yeah all right so they have a lesh norn in hand or wherever they draw off of mystic confluence i guess that's fine solid t solid top deck oh boy <clears throat> well we do get to terminate this Oh, God. I am dead inside. <sighs> when everything goes your way. We fixed everything, right? Or less storm. Yeah. Oh boy. <clears throat> Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Wouldn't you like to top deck? Okay, 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 I'm on. Oh, the Cheers theme song is so good, dude.
I don't think I've heard the Gilmore Girls theme song. Wouldn't you like to... I mean, I, I, ideally, we're playing against a creature-based deck and not like a storm deck, because that would really... That would make this hand worse, as you can imagine. How's that pronounced? Corcolo tuo ero imperatore? What's our opponent doing? Is he loading up the stream so he can... Was that... Was, John, was that close? <clears throat> I don't know what's going on here. John, what does that mean? Also, how you, how are you holding up in Italy, buddy? Hopefully you're staying safe, my dude. What is the holdup here? T -t -t Today, Junior! Cheers theme or Eureka's Castle? That's that's tough. God, you're asking me to choose. Man, 80s theme songs are are really good. Like I get facts of life stuck in my head all the time. You take the good, you take the bad, you take it all, and then you have the facts of life. The facts of life. I don't know what our opponent's doing right now. <laughs> Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Eureka's cast. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> oh, the Jefferson's is good too. Moving on up. Opponent is feeding the kitty, whatever that means. That's okay as a treat. <laughs> My family's all safe for now. That is slang, meaning that they're very lucky. Nice, nice. Boy, you ain't kidding. John, glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. The things going on in Italy right now are just terrifying. And hopefully everyone gets it under control relatively quickly. Didn't we have a deal with the pigeons? I don't even know what that means. But we probably did, to be fair. I mean, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know where our opponent went. I'm going to pause this until they come back. I'm sorry. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I'm sorry it took this long for me to do it, but. And of course, they come back immediately. Wow. Well, that was unbelievable. <laughs> oh good oh good tap this play lodestone golem on turn one that would be and we have the go for the throat oh just the grim monolith guys it's okay five mana huh 
Uh oh. Okay, well. I got an ever flowing chalice, that's kinda cool, right? Cast with multi kicker. My multi will be one. Kicked one time. Joke's on you, I got three mana too, buddy. They have eight mana. They could play a mere battle sphere. They have nine mana. This week is actually the most crucial if infections will continue to grow. Be in, yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Like, uh, yeah, like the next two weeks for, for everybody is like really rough because this is when people start to notice the symptoms and it starts becoming a thing, you know. <clears throat> but Italy has it like so much worse right now than 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 like every other country I can even I can even think of because just like there's so many cases and it's overwhelming hospitals and things and it's just. So this whole thing is really like I don't know man it's something nothing less than nine in hand confirmed I'll take the small victories Well, we have three removal spells. This should be a dread boar or a bedevil. That would be nice. Is bedevil double black or double red? I think it's double black because uh, the red would be the artifact, the black would be the planeswalker, and the black would be the removal spell. So I'm assuming that dre that bedevil is yep double black. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> All right, so I guess we're going to try to just attack this Nahiri. <whistles> Got him. Villa, have a good afternoon, buddy. <coughs> All right. Well, 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 well. What's what theme song is this? Mega Man? This is Mega Man, right? What's he even singing right now? Nobody knows. Man, I have three cards in my hand that destroy creatures, but I have a feeling no matter what they play, it's not going to be worth it. <clears throat> They're going to play like Kozilek or Inkwa Leviathan or Ulamog, and all of these destroy creatures in my hand are just not going to have the same irrelevant effect. Oh boy, here we go. Blightsteel Colossus incoming. Oh boy. Sundering Titan. Yep, that's a thing. <clears throat> On the bright side, they're killing three of our lands. Oh no, we were I was gonna, like we can in resp oh I guess we can go for the throat and then No we can't. Nothing nothing I'm saying works. Yep. Gotta target your plateau, my dude. Also we had the like Shadow of the Class. We only played once because I was avoiding me and Mike have been avoiding uh, hanging out because of sicknesses. Um. Oh God, you're gonna name Everflung Chalice. Jesus. Sure. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, I can just probably take seven, eight, nine, right?
Oh, we can't actually activate this until this guy's gone anyway, so we're not going to be able to Damnation next turn. I mean, we can kill Sundering Titan. They lose two lands. We lose one land. <clears throat> and if they play, like, another white source, then they lose another land, I guess. Feels like the odds are low, but... Oh, we got some Greaves. General Light Lightning General Grievous over here. Let me guess you put it on this guy. Yeah. No, don't like that. No, don't like that. <clears throat> got him. I mean, we lose another Swamp, but they lose both of their colored sources. This is going to be a problem if they have, like, any Eldrazi in their deck. So that's frustrating. Well, I guess this guy's going to get in there for two. <laughs> what is, they have 14 minutes. We have 23 minutes. Like, it's a sizable time difference here. Also, we're probably very unlikely to uh, actually kill this creature in our in this game, and this is going to ultimately like, mm, two turns. So, You guys are watching on YouTube. Sorry about the, the delay here. Be sure to check out mandatraders.com. They have a great subscription service where you can subscribe and uh, rent physical. I don't know if they're doing physical anymore. Not like it matters in the near future anyway, but you can definitely get uh, magic online cards for Pioneer, Modern, Standard. If you're looking to play different decks online, it's a great it's a great service for that. And you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. So be sure to use those. Also a good way to support the channel as well. Okay, so bonfire oh mox ruby um yeah i guess we'll play it yeah you like how they keep their they kept the revoker back so <clears throat> in case we had a way to attack we have a lot of cards that deal damage that we could have used against nahiri but right now they're probably just gonna kill us so i just went to the gym and swam for like 30 minutes and you're still playing this janky draft what's the record oh two However, to be fair, we would have won all of our games, well, all of our games in the second round if we were able to attack. But that's not the stip. Yep, that's what we were worried about. It's all it's also almost a reason to keep this in hand, but this is also 17 damage we got a one, so I'm not really like convinced we have a great way to avoid that. God, Cryptic Command is so good, dude.
Don't get greedy on the mana base. I mean, like, my only chance of winning is getting greedy with this deck. <clears throat> I will play first. Um, Cryptic Command? Sure. You know what? Any blue is good. We got things to, to, to do here. I do have good luck with mana. False. F absolutely incorrect. Blue source. Yeah, it's actually pretty good here. Has anyone donated for the super friend? No, this is like the, we've only had like three stipulations so far, and this is only the second one. So, God, do I lo I do love a super friend stip though. <coughs> oh my God, strip mine. Good lord. Are you gonna you gonna you gonna use it for mana? Woo. Oh man. <clears throat> oh man, we're doing it. Living the dream, my dudes. Um yeah, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Oh god, no attacks again, guys. No attacks. This is where our opponent's like, uh, what? And I'm like, you'll never get it. What is this guy name? <sighs> Game ever flung chalice again? <clears throat> This is fascinating. Chase the Mind Sculptor? That's actually pretty solid. This guy's aggressive. So hasty. Oh, did we stack it so we take four? Oh, God, we're terrible at this game. <laughs> that was so bad, dude. Oh, man. I think we just Gonti here. Is Gonti better than Chandra? Oh, my God. I'm just like... I'm just... I'm, I can't. I can't even with myself, dude. I feel like it's actually Chandra here. <clears throat> oh my god, we set it up so we took an extra four. Someone set us up the bomb and it was ourselves. Yeah, but I'm at a point where like if they want to attack, I'll just block with Dark Confidant. We've drawn like three extra cards off this guy. Plus, our hand is pretty much <clears throat> stacked. Man, this draft has taken a while. 
We're at almost an hour and 56 minutes. Nothing. Oh, man. So bad. So bad. I forgot about the confidant. I was like, I want to draw Chandra next turn. I mean, theoretically, like, it's funny because we could have just put Chandra in our hand. We The only, the only, like, there's three different positions Chandra could be in. And we put her in the only one that deals us four. I feel like I do that a lot. Like, there's, like, multiple different lines. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, they have Sundering Titans, so they kill all three of our lands and then they attack for, like, 7,000. Yeah, that seems good. Oh, me over. Oh, oh. Oh. Well, then. What in damnation? Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty okay, I guess. What sound? Is there a sound? What's going on? What's happening right now? Where am I? I blacked out. Did they take me or Chandra? Hmm. Hmm. Me. The sound I made? Oh, oh. Was it like that? Oh, this is fascinating. Two, three, four. So we actually have one, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. It's not eight mana. Eight mana is better, obviously, because our hand is full of four drops. <clears throat> well, I'm definitely blocking here because we're going to damnation anyway. Oh, that guy's good. Problem is me four black. I think we're just gonna play Blood Crypt. Uh, let's plus Chandra. See what we get here. An island. <coughs> Don't feel terrible right now. They only have four mana. But anything could happen, guys. It's anybody's game. Oh god, let's see what this... Let's see what it sounded like. Oh, me over... Oh, whoa! Whoa, oh! <laughs> oh, and then they, then they lightning grooves this guy up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess we do get a Gonti. Cryptic Command, why hath you forsaken me? Firebolt. Can't do it. Alright, so. Let's play a land. We can also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can Gonti. Let's see if we can hit Kolagon's command, I guess. Chain Lightning. Yeah, I'll cast the Chain Lightning at you. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> These hits are so bad, dude. <coughs> on the bright side, Demir Signet might let us play Cryptic Command next turn. That's kind of funny. If we hit a blue source. Although I'm pretty sure we've exiled two blue sources. Yeah, all right. So out of seven, we have four left in the deck. Oh, it was a lightning bolt. I said chain lightning. Yeah, sure. Same thing. 
Why does that matter? Yep. <clears throat> it doesn't. I was just being pedantic. Wow. I mean, I'm 100% blocking here. <clears throat> just so you know. Oh. Okay. I guess they get to kill Shandy then. Guys, I don't feel great about this game. I think it's it's officially called Chain Lightning Bolt anyway, so I don't even know what the problem is. You're going face, you're going Chandra? Alright. That's weird. I'll keep my Chandra alive. That's too bad. Do, 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 do. Uh, Bulmog, I did not see anything. Nor did I receive anything. Use your one attack? But I don't even have any creatures. Two, three, four, five, six. We can make them discard their hand. We can add two, play Demir Signet. Then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. But not Cryptic Command mana, just to be clear. Oh, hold on. Choose target opponent or planeswalker. One, two, three. It's currently one, two, three. Hazaret and Sundering Titan discarded. Okie dokie. All right, so we just have to deal with this germ. I don't know if we can. We have like three turns if they don't attack Chandra. Two turns if they attack Sh if they don't attack Chandra. Three if they do. Thank you. Denmark, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. All right, so we're back down to th where I got uh, two turns left. Oh, we got Cryptic Command, boys. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. I'm just gonna pass here. <clears throat> Magic is imitating life here. We're trying to figure out how to deal with germs. Shroud, haste, vigilance, lifelink. Really?
Counter it and bounce this guy. <clears throat> Should have killed me when you had the chance, Charles. Because unless they drew a land, unless land is the other card in your hand, we just we just got ourselves two turns this turn, and the next turn when they replay it. And being able to drop a Yogmoth's bargain in between is pretty good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Just gonna pass here. Keep up Murderous Rider. If they want to play Batter Skull, we can Murderous Rider in response. Okay. Interesting to play that over Batter Skull, but unless you have unless you need six mana for something, which is possible. Really, it's your six mana card. You have six mana card. Oh, fuck, come on. <laughs> come on dude oh that's so frustrating because now we take two from this we take another three from the attack that they're inevitable oh, that's so stupid oh god I mean the problem is like we're not going to be able to win this now like this is real dumb because we're taking three we go to three so we can draw three cards whereas like if they just replayed batter skull we could have killed the batter skull like they had to have grim monolith worm coil engine or land worm coil engine, I guess. God, we get so close and then we just. Nothing. That's rough. Where's my Yogmoth's bargain so I can play Damnation again? You didn't bring that in. Let's draw. <laughs> Let's draw. Well, that'll do, pig. One, two. Uh, cancel. One, two, three. This guy. One, two, three, four. One, two. I guess we're just having to terminate this guy. Oh, but they still get Batter Skull, don't they? Jesus. Lava Claw can block, but they have Strip Mine, so. I guess, actually, we can go 1, 2, 3, activate, pump for 1, block, and then still terminate something. It's not terrible. Oh, they hit a 5th land, so they hit the exact card they needed so that they can keep up a uh, Strip Mine. Never mind. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I guess we can actually terminate copy terminate. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess we're going to do that instead. Although we're at one. We never get to draw a card again, though. Oh, no, we get to draw two cards. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. <clears throat> so we're going to go control, terminate this guy. Expansion. One, two. Okay. I still don't know how we beat Lightning Greaves Worm here, but strip mine to kill that, sure. Fascinating. Uh, your friend. All right. Let's block. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yep. Got it. Man, this game has been something, dude. Well, it doesn't get shuffled back in. It just goes on the bottom. Draw. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> oh, talk about the two most useless cards in your deck. Coligon's command would have been nice. Right? Maybe. That's hilarious. Seething Song, Factor Fiction. Yeah. All right. 03, but not terribly surprised. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me on Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Manatraders.com. Cool Stuff Inc. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you.